Whoa! Yeah, there we go. Boom, nice big chomp. Want a rat? There you go, big boy. Can I get a who? Come here, let me have those camel lips. He's so mobile now, look at that! He just wants to love. Which I'm so glad I got my emotional support otter. Oh, look at her, she is massive. Whoa! Those heat-seeking pets. Woohoo! Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my wildlife. Starting the morning off early with my sweet baby. There you go, look at that. Look at that little baby. Ooh, he's, look at that, he's sucking it down fast. He's a hungry little baby. <laughs> you are so sweet, look at him. How cute is he? Oh, I'm so lucky to be able to do stuff like this. You're already done. You're already done. What? What? You got a little milk mouth. You got a little milk mouth. Mm -hmm. How cute is that face? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go see what the rest of the facility's got going on, huh? Ooh, all right, boys and girls. We just got this tarp put in. We're replacing the old tarp for Choby because he decided to bite it. He's being a naughty boy. We got Jake from Snake Farm coming to help out today. Keep this alligator occupied while we're taking care of his new pool. Woo! <laughs> Upwards to 3,000 pounds per square inch pressure in the jaws of an American alligator so he can crush your bones. Uh-oh, uh -oh. no problem. <laughs> and it's a good thing we're using these snake tongs for Midwest tongs. They're the best for feeding big crocodilians nice and safely. You want a rat? There you go, big boy. That's a happy alligator. Let's finish this pull up and he can go back in his water. Ooh, Bagoy. All right, beautiful people. I got Bagoy. We're gonna go put him outside in his enclosure and we're gonna go take care of some snakes today. I know Senor Pepe, the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake has gone through sheds. So we're gonna go clean him up. I'll see you later, Bagoy. Ooh. Can I get a who? Ooh. Ooh. A little update on Kaido. He's starting to walk around now. This is actually like a day after that video that I filmed with you guys. Look at this, look at this. He's so mobile now, look at that. He wasn't moving around like this at all before. Little Kaido, Kaido. And all he wants to do is just cuddle dad. Oh, 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 hello, hello. Ah, Kaido, Kaido, Kaido. Oh my goodness, happy otter, happy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? What? You just want to love. I love him so much. I'm so glad I got my emotional support otter. Wait. Mm, 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 mm. All right, we're gonna feed them later, but uh, I gotta go deal with the snakes, and I don't want to smell like mammal while dealing with some of these snakes. They might bite me thinking I'm food, right? They might bite me thinking I'm food. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, beautiful people. We're gonna check up on the little baby King Cobra. He actually just ate recently, and it seems like he's all good, treated for the mites. We still have him on paper towel to make sure that he's good to go. We want to monitor him and make sure they're not coming back, but typically next works pretty good. So check this out. This is the little King Cobra. And you can see all this shed skin coming off everywhere. I actually put a little tote right here of water. Got to be very careful dealing with this guy, but I am trying to get him to chill out a little bit. So look at that beautiful little, whoop, beautiful little, whoop, beautiful little Indo-Malaysian King Cobra hybrid. And you can see he's actually still a little crusty around his hood and whatnot. Ooh, look at that. He is such a cool little king cobra. Obviously, you never handle venomous reptiles the way I do. I've been dealing with snakes like this my whole life, and uh, I take risk into my own hand, quite literally. Look at that. Such a beautiful little king cobra. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so what we'll do is we're gonna put him, ooh, we're gonna put him inside his little thing of water right there, and we're gonna actually cover him up. So he's in there, we're gonna cover him up so he stays in that water. We want him to soak really good because he's so small. I don't want to like hold him and pin him and stress him. We just started getting him to eat on his own. So the last thing we want to do is stress him to the point where he's not gonna end up eating for us again. I don't want to have to force feed him again. Now, let's deal with one of my favorite snakes, Skittles, the Ethiopian Cobra. She is a beautiful uh, Egyptian Cobra found in Ethiopia. I love these snakes, but they are dangerous. Let's see how she does today. Hey mama want to get her some fresh water, clean out her poop. She's been eating really good for us lately. 
what's up. Ready? Okay. Grab that tail. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> this snake is on fire every time I deal with her. Ooh, beautiful. Love Skittles, but uh, she doesn't love me too much. So let's just gently get her inside this holding receptacle right here. Awesome, beautiful design by my buddy Andrew. Get her right into there. And now we can safely admire her. Gorgeous, rusty, orange looking snake with a little bit of red and purple on the hood. All right, so I gotta get this enclosure nice and clean, get that glass wiped down so it's good for exhibiting and uh, make sure she's got a nice clean area to go back into. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Look at this beautiful snake. Ready to go all the time, mouth open like a pissed off King Cobra. She's a good looking snake. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Just gonna gently, wow, she is just, woo, she's just pissed. Look at that, gorgeous looking Cobra but very respectable. These guys are also known as Egyptian cobras, but because they're from Ethiopia, they're very dramatically uh, different looking snakes. So we typically just call them Ethiopian cobra. Can I get you in there safely? Huh? We're good, right? You want me close the enclosure? There we go. Put a lock on that. Make sure it's nice and secure. We'll leave Skittles be because she does not like being handled. Guys, a little update on the new female Malaysian King Cobra. We got her to eat. She had a python. You can see she's really thick right now. And that python has dewormer in it. So we're gonna start that treatment. She's gonna have three rounds of it and hopefully that'll take care of any internal parasites. But it is great news that she ate. You can see how far her scales are spread apart. That was a really good meal for her. She's gonna be the future wife of Kevin the King Cobra. Look at that face. Rakes of intelligence. All right, so we're gonna put Pepe in the holding receptacle. We gotta clean this enclosure out. You can see Pepe is looking really good. He just came out of shed, looking gorgeous. Let's get him out nice and safely. Ooh, Justina's itching to come out too. We might have to pour her out and clean our water and whatnot. All right, Pepe, we're gonna get you out. Hopefully nice and safely. Let's get the hook. What's up, Pepe? Big, beautiful, woo, Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. He's thick. Let's get that hook in place. is a big Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. He is not in the mood today. Wow, look at that snake. Gorgeous, big, beautiful rattlesnake with those heat-seeking pits. Woo-hoo-hoo, heat-seeking pits. Woo-hoo-hoo. That I gotta watch out for, because if he sees my heat signature, he'll flip around and bite me. So let's get him right into the can, or the holding receptacle. Woo! That is a thick, Cranky rattlesnake, Senor Pepe. Get that nice and secure. All right, let's clean his enclosure. He's got a, a, a oh, what's it going on? Spicy meatball! <coughs> that don't have to grab out, just need to relax. Then we got this big shed, big, beautiful scales on this snake, growing like crazy, and he can keep growing. He can get like six plus feet long. He will become a monster one day. The biggest rattlesnake in the world, though, is the Eastern Diamondback here in the state of Florida, which I love. That's why I got so many of them. All right, let's get Senor Pepe back where he belongs. There we go. Hey, Pepe. You were looking thick. I don't even think I fed him last feeding. And he still looks big. Uh oh. There we go. Wow. He is such a huge rattlesnake. Easy, boy. There we go. <laughs> what a big rattlesnake, I love him. I've had Pepe now for like four or five years. Time flies by quick. Locked and secure, good to go. Oh, Justina. Justina, the female King Cobra, is not happy with me today. Let me get a bigger hook. All right, so let's deal with Justina. Nice and easy, girl. I'm gonna use this big hook to gently pull her out. There we go. Justina is an Indonesian King Cobra. And a lot of you guys are always asking, why don't you breed Kevin with Justina? So Justina's got this beautiful like olive coloration. She is an Indonesian King Cobra. So she is not the same as Kevin being a Malaysian. And we don't want to muddy up that bloodline. We want to make sure that Justina has pure Indonesian babies. And uh, Kevin has pure Malaysian babies because they just look dramatically different. 
And the Malaysians are supposed to be the biggest king cobras in the world. So we want to make sure we keep that bloodline straight because uh, eventually these king cobras will be different species. They're going to be classified as their own different individual species. And we don't want to create hybrids because therefore that would not be good for conservation of king cobras. Ooh, mama. Let me take you over here. Come on. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Into the holding receptacle you go. All right. Just like that, get her into the holding receptacle. Nice and secure. We gotta put a bolt right through it. There we go. And look at that, you can really enjoy the size of the King Cobra in this holding receptacle. Look at her, she is massive. And uh, she's very cranky. She's always been a cranky snake. I've known her since she was like seven, eight feet long when my buddy used to own her. And uh, she's always been very defensive. So uh, let's, uh, let's take care of her enclosure. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hopefully she does not choose violence today. She is just such a massive snake. Just gonna get her by hand. Hopefully she'll prefer that. We can do this a little bit easier. Get her right into the enclosure. Uh oh. A little too close to my hand. I like it. Uh oh. She is uh, not in the mood today. So let me just redirect her a little bit. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, let me go around the little receptacle. into the enclosure. Uh oh. Gotta move smoothly without getting her too upset. There we go. Nice and easy, mama. Nice and easy. Get that tail in there. There we go. Woo! Come on. Yeah! There we go. Lock that, secure it. And I'm itching to get her into a bigger enclosure, but guys, it is hard to get a good deal on materials. We're trying to do custom builds for these big king cobras, and uh, PVC is just very expensive. If any of you guys have a hookup for black PVC, four by eight feet, hit me up, email me, uh, hit my Instagram up, Chandler underscore GK, email me. There's an email right there. If you guys have any connects for black PVC sheets, a good deal. We really want to bump out these snakes. Also, if you're a cage company out there and you want to sponsor this facility, we would love a cage sponsor to help rebuild all these cages, make them bigger, badder, and better. So hit me up if you guys are interested in a sponsorship. I would love to bump out my king cobras and a couple other species out here. All right, so we got the green anacondas here. If this cage looks familiar, this is because this is where Kobe the black mamba was living. So we actually have two of the beautiful female green anacondas. This one's looking a little crusty. We're actually gonna change out their water dish for something a little bit wider so they can both uh, hydrate and soak without an issue. You can see we got the bigger one right here. I think this is the bigger anaconda. Look at that. Ooh-wee! That is a beautiful set of snakes. The world's heaviest snakes, largest snakes, green anacondas from South America. How cool are these guys? I love green anacondas. A classic, iconic snake growing up watching nature documentaries and reading books. It's amazing to think that one day these guys can get over 18 feet and weigh over 200 pounds, eating the world's biggest rodent, the capybara, and also eating things like caiman up to seven, eight feet long, wild animals. So what we're gonna do is take out their water bowl, dump out that nasty goop, and uh, we want them to have more space. So uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just move all this mulch to the side. Ooh, a little spicy meatball, a little bonus right there. There we go. And uh, we're gonna put them on this side, right over here. There you go. And we're gonna put this big tote right here, just so it's a little bit more space than that custom, custom water bowl. There we go. So let's close this, secure it, put a lock on it, throw the key away. There we go, nice and secure. I'm gonna wash my hands and wash this water bowl. I'll see you guys in a split. <laughs> oh, my shoes stopped me. It's a message from God. He said no more splits. Sorry. Cameo, Timmy. You guys want some carrots? Hmm? 
You want some carrots, big babies? Ooh, look at those camel lips. Timmy, you want one? Yes, I know you want one. Come here, let me have those camel lips. Ooh, <laughs> I love these guys. They are getting so big. Let me actually show you guys how big they're getting. Timmy might be almost bigger than Kameo now. Look how tall these guys are. This is ridiculous. You want another carrot, Timmy? Big, beautiful boy. Kameo, how about another carrot? You want, let me see those lips. Let me see those lips. Oh, I love my camels. You want a little baby carrot? There you go. All right, we got a python for Kevin. This is a ball python that was donated by a local pet shop, Wild Cargo. Passed away and they were willing to give it to me for King Cover food. And uh, there's actually dewormer inside this python and he'll get a couple treatments of dewormer. Let's see if he'll uh, eat the food and not go after me because that's the most important part. He's also in shed right now. You want the python? I'm gonna put it right there and see what he does. Oh, it's not what I wanted. What do you think, Kevin? He seems interested for sure. I haven't fed him. Ooh, I haven't fed him in a week or so because he's been eating so good lately. I don't want to make him too fat. Come on. You want it? Come on, I know you want it. You gotta eat some food, buddy. What a magnificent beast. Breaks of intelligence. Whoa. Come on, Kevin. Ooh. Come on, Kevin. Whoa. How about the food, not me? Come on, Kevin. Look how big this King Cabra is. He is a monstrous sized snake. I can't wait for him to come out of shed. He's looking a little bit dull right now, but he's still a gorgeous King Cabra. And we're gonna get rid of all these old potted plants that didn't make it through uh, the whole Cobra bite era. And uh, we're gonna replant his enclosure as soon as we can. Come on, buddy. Don't you want to eat the python? Yeah, there we go. Boom, nice big chomp right there. Pumping it with venom. All right, beautiful people, we're gonna let Kevin be so he can eat his food. Let's go see how the baby otter's doing. Locked and secure. All right, we got a little bandito right here. We're gonna give him some milk. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's lunchtime, it's lunchtime, relax. Oh my God, he just tries to crawl over the place. You ready? There we go. Oh, 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 he's a hungry little baby. There you go. He is such a cute little animal. I love river otters. I'm so happy I have the chance to actually raise a little baby. He's gonna be my emotional support otter. Spent a rough couple years getting bit by crocodiles and cobras and chased by bears in the swamps, but I'll tell you what, this otter just makes me feel like I'm living on cloud nine. Mm, I love him so much. He's my sweet little boy, little manito. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you follow your dreams and stay passionate about what you guys love and uh, have fun. Do what makes you happy. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. See you guys on the next one. Come here, let me have those camel lips. <laughs>